was last night here on the air that we learned of a loss, the death of General Norman Schwarzkopf. Tonight here, the story behind the nickname that it turns out he didn't like. He was a four-star general who earned the nickname Storm and Norman after his tough talk and the action that followed. His troops routing Iraqi forces from Kuwait in 100 hours in the first Gulf War. But it turns out the general known for his swift victories didn't like that nickname, preferring the one his troops called him, the Bear. And while he was tough, he also had a gentle side, honest and candid, in this moment with Barbara Walters. But were you ever scared? Sure. When most? I've, I've been scared in every war I've ever been in. If you could meet Saddam Hussein, what would you ask him or say to him? Get out of town. A West Point graduate and decorated officer for his service in Vietnam, he spent his entire life in the Army. But when Saddam Hussein invaded Kuwait in 1990, Storm and Norman became a household name. As far as Saddam Hussein being a great military strategist, he is neither a strategist, nor is he schooled in the operational art, nor is he a tactician, nor is he a general, nor is he as a soldier. Other than that, he's a great military man. I want you to know that. <laughs> he returned from the Persian Gulf a national hero after that victory parade in New York. It doesn't take a hero to order men into battle. It takes a hero to be one of those men that goes into battle. And, 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 and that, those are the people that are the heroes. Those are the people that should receive the adulation. For found words, Schwarzkopf was awarded the Medal of Freedom for his service to his country. Though courted by both political parties, he resisted politics and devoted his retirement years in part to children's charities.